Is your dishwasher not draining? Hey guys, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing? Sure. This video is for informational purposes only and working on appliances may be hazardous. Here we have a dishwasher that's not draining. It's full of water. If in doubt, contact your local professional for any repairs. So, first thing we need to do is check the drain lines. And so this would have saved me a lot of pro a lot of problem if I would have done this first thing. This one does not have an anti-siphon valve up on top, which could be a primary cause. So you need to check that first if you have an anti-siphon valve up on top. So here I'm checking the disconnected drain line. A little bit of water comes out. The pump is running. The, the machine is on and the pump is pumping, uh, is running, but it's not pumping out much. Uh, one thing you always want to do regularly is clean the filter. This particular filter has a lot of uh, grease in it, food grease. Uh, clean out any debris. If you're sensitive to this, again, contact a professional to do this. It's always good to rinse your uh, dishes off to before, well before you uh, wash your dishes in the dishwasher. Um, and use a screen in your sink so the drain doesn't get so plugged this one up. So has to be taken all apart. So I was going to remove the dishwasher, and you have to do a couple things to remove it. Adjust the feet and the top uh, latches up on top. Make sure we have enough line, and I'll pull it out. So I've got the dishwasher out, and uh, I'm going to check the pump on this. I was going to try and check the pump. Now this one has the rat proofing. It's got the wire mesh screen which is really good because I've seen a lot of uh, rats destroy dishwashers so yeah they'll eat almost anything yeah you'd be amazed what they eat and so rat proofing is always good and I do this for a fee as well here locally now here I've got the pump off and I'm looking inside the pump area and it looks fine so at this point, I'm a little stumped as to the reason what the problem is. And then here I'm checking the uh, 110 volt uh, water pump uh, directly. Now, uh, don't do this if you're sensitive to any of this kind of stuff or if you're not sure exactly what you're doing. I've been doing this for a long time since I was in fifth grade. So. I have done these kinds of things. Although every situation is different. Now here I had to pull, when I pulled the dishwasher out, I noticed it drained from the primary line. That white line there comes right out of the dishwasher. It was draining from there fine. Uh, when I pulled that apart, I had to pull it apart to make room to uh, pull the dishwasher out. Otherwise it didn't have enough line to extend out to look at it, to pull the pump out. Now the black line, line is plugged up. Yeah, it's plugged up with grease. And the reason I know is because I blew inside of it and it wouldn't blow through. So I'll need to take a coat hanger or something and uh, flush that line. So uh, vinegar and soap Soapy hot water would work. Okay, I'm, I'm using this coat hanger, again, and coat uh, hanger. if you have and a vinegar and soapy and hot water, through. and preferably, you know, hotter the better. Of course, you and have to be careful not um, to burn yourself. Some water to pour in there. Lots of grease came out of this line. It was, it was like the, one of the grossest things I've ever and, seen. Uh, should be clear. Anyway, this is Bill signing out. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. Thanks for watching.